Today we're going to be focusing on skincare, and I've called it Love the Skin That You're In. I'm Kimberly Melusis, and I'm a Blue Diamond leader and Canadian founder with doTERRA, and I'm really thrilled to be able to share with you what we're about to talk about today, because it's a huge part of my own journey um, into natural health. I was a huge sufferer. I struggled for many years with various skin issues and, and difficulties, and so my journey, went, which led me into learning about natural alternatives way before doTERRA, was because of the skin issues that I had. And so skin is a big deal for me. It's something that I inherited from generations before me of bad skin, and it's something that I passed on to my daughters. But I'm very thankful that we've been able to kind of cut that off as we started to understand how to heal our skin and how to get perfectly clear skin. So I want you to be filled with hope as we go through this uh, session today that no matter what you're dealing with, you do have solutions available to you and you can have perfectly clear glowing skin. So what are we gonna talk about? Well, I am gonna mention a little bit about my 25 year struggle with skin issues. I wanna talk about the truth about our skin. What is our skin and how does it work? And then what is the most powerful natural solution that we can give to our skin? And there's more than one, but we're going to talk about them. Then I want you to have a step-by-step -step action plan to get the most vibrant, glowing, healthy skin that you can possibly have. And at the end of the day, really, it's about falling in love with your skin again. If you um, struggle with skin issues like I have in the past, then you start to not love your skin. You start to feel very negative about yourself and your skin. And I want you to realize that you can love it again. And in loving it, um, it's going to love you back in the sense that it's going to come back to life and it's going to be just the way that you want it to be. So please know before we start that I'm not a doctor. I'm really just teaching you. Um, things that I've learned along my journey. I want to share with you what I know about skincare and essential oils and how they can safely work to help your body to heal itself. If you do have a serious skin issue, then the medical professionals are very helpful and they can provide, uh, one of the great things that they do is diagnosis. So they can provide very great diagnostic help for you to figure out what's going on. There's a time and a place for both medical professionals and natural healing. And so I'm very thankful to be able to work in partnership with my doctor and other physicians. And if you are dealing with something pretty serious and if you are taking medication, then you want to consult with your doctor at all times and potentially your pharmacist as well. Okay, so what's some, um, some background about me? Well, my struggle with skincare dates back to as far as I can remember. In fact, I can't remember a time in my childhood when I did not have some kind of huge difficulty with my skin. Mostly when I was younger, it kind of manifested on my feet. So I had really, really bad issues with my feet. They were always cracked open with various kinds of cracks and and painful oozings that would come out of them. And most of the time I had to walk on the sides of my feet because walking on the pads of my feet was just too painful. I remember sticking my uh, feet in plastic bags, having them been slathered with petroleum jelly. I don't know why uh, my mom felt that that was gonna be helpful, but that's what I had to do. And I, I just remember as a child, just always struggling with uh, really bad skin issues. As I moved into the teenage years, it moved away from my feet and it moved toward my face more. And, um, and then in my 20s, um, toward my hands and uh, really serious issues with regard to the skin on my hands. And even as I you know, approached 40s, I was getting very painful cystic acne on my face. And I remember thinking that it was quite unjust that I was getting wrinkles and acne at the same time. But um, my skin didn't agree with me because it still happened. So whether it was just or unjust, it was very frustrating to have both issues <laughs> that we're dealing with at the same time. And what led me into natural health care starting way, way back were, were my skin issues. I was looking for a solution. And I wasn't getting it from the medical profession. Again, I was thankful for their ability to diagnose as best as they could, but the things that they had me using were not effective. In fact, I remember I had a very, very bad issue with um, 
something around my face, around my mouth in particular. And I was given both a very powerful antibiotic and a um, cortisone cream. And the powerful antibiotic, of course, we know what that does to your gut, um, but it wasn't effective. And it just kind of had other side effects that were not helpful. But my skin on my chin was permanently thinned from the use of the cortisone cream. And so that became a big problem for me because even to this day, I still have a purple chin, so to speak, because of that permanently thin skin. So I was despairing of a solution and I just didn't know where to turn. I didn't know where to get help. And that put me on the beginning of my journey to find some help in the natural health area. Now, even then, my journey was kind of long and complicated, and it just seemed like the solutions that I was finding were okay and potentially better than what I had been using before, definitely not harmful, but never really what I wanted. Um, I remember the huge breakthrough that I got in my skin early on, early on being before doTERRA, was when I started to understand that no matter what I put on my skin, I wasn't going to get breakthrough until I started looking at what I put in my mouth. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in our session right, uh, today, but I wanted to mention that that was the big breakthrough that kind of set me on a good trajectory and uh, only continued as I started with doTERRA. I have never had the kind of um, beautiful, clear skin any time in my life that I experience now in my late 40s. So that's kind of exciting. But even more than that, you know, these things tend to pass on from person to person in a family. And my daughters kind of inherited the same thing that I inherited from my mom. And so I have been so thankful to be able to help my daughters work through and my young son work through their skin issues by helping them to address what really is going on and by giving them solutions that work. So I hope my story is helpful to you so that you know that there are solutions available. So what is the truth about your skin? Well, first of all, you likely know that it is the largest organ of the human body. Um, but what does that even mean? What that means is how we deal with it, how we treat it has to be the same way with the same care, so to speak, as we would deal with our liver, our kidney, our heart. We certainly wouldn't take those organs and have them baking out in the sun. And we certainly wouldn't take those and fill them with all kinds of chemicals. And yet those are some of the things that we do to our skin. Of course, our skin does have uh, protective elements to it that help to support, you know, kind of like a gate so that not everything passes through. Um, but really, we, we need to pay a lot of attention to what we're putting on our skin. If we're putting chemicals and um, harmful ingredients on our skin and we wouldn't put them in our mouth, then we're kind of walking a wrong path. If it's something that you're putting on your skin, you should be able to put it in your mouth. And here's why. The tissue on your skin is called, on the outer side, is called epithelial tissue. It's the same kind of tissue that you actually have in your digestive system, in your bowels, or in your intestines. And what this tissue is designed to do is to absorb. It's meant to absorb the nutrients and the things from your food um, when you're taking food internally and it's being processed through your bowels. Well, on your skin, it's also meant to absorb. And so it does absorb. And so if you're putting the harmful ingredients on it, it's absorbing that. So when you hear about feeding your skin, literally, you need to feed your skin. You need to feed your skin by putting good things in your mouth. And you also need to feed your skin by putting good things on your skin. So again, if you can't put it in your mouth. Well, maybe don't be putting it on your body. There's lots of chemical sprays that I see even moms putting on young children. Um, maybe uh, because they think it's helpful as a insect repellent or as a sunscreen, but they're hugely harmful and you would never consider spraying that in your child's mouth. So really don't be putting it on their skin. We know that our skin is important for kind of protection, but even though it looks like it's a protective barrier, it really isn't. Like I said, it's really absorbing the things that you're putting onto it. So when you're experiencing something on your skin, 
don't look for a topical solution necessarily. Of course, there are things that can help topically and we will talk about that. But first and foremost, what you wanna look for is the connection between your skin and your gut because true beauty, true skin health starts from the inside out. So here's how it works. If you have some kind of rash on your skin or some kind of um, blemish, what your skin is doing is it's kind of sending a signal that something is going wrong on the inside. What you need to look at your skin as is kind of like a map telling you what's happening on the inside of your body. So when you're looking at getting help with whatever skin issue, the first thing that you need to look at is what is happening in your gut? What are you eating? What supplements are you taking? And how is that impacting your skin health? I, I mentioned to you that the biggest breakthrough that I got with my skin was when I started looking at what I was putting into my mouth. And for me, what I've discovered is that when I eat dairy and when I eat gluten products, I do not have happy skin. In fact, it's almost uncanny how quickly the reaction is between me putting bread in my mouth and me getting a blemish on my skin. Uh, cystic acne will pop up virtually the next, within the next 12 hours on my skin, on my face. And so there's a really clear connection that my body is telling me it does not like this. And with dairy, it's a bit of a longer process, but I feel it immediately in my stomach. And so we need to be paying attention to what our skin is telling us. Perhaps it's not liking something that we're putting in our mouths, and perhaps it's needing something that we're not putting in our mouths. And so that's where we wanna look at what are some actual solutions for enhancing the health of your skin. So when we're looking at these things, here are your top three beauty tools right here. Um, well, what are they? Well, first of all, we have our omega-3s, okay? So oftentimes, you know, as, a, as here's a good example, if you struggle with dry skin, usually what do you do? Usually you run for a cream or, you know, you go to the, the drugstore and you look for something that you can put on your skin. But if you have dry skin, inevitably, what your skin is telling you is that you're lacking in omega-3 fatty acids. Okay, so here's the connection and here's why omega-3s become so critical to the health of your skin. Your skin is protein. That's what makes up your skin. You cannot produce protein without a fat being present. And so the word essential fatty acids tells you that those fatty acids are essential to create those proteins. Omega-3s do a lot of things in our body. They support our hormonal system. They support brain health, really important for kids where their brains are growing, um, but it's still important for adults for mental clarity and so on. It supports a healthy inflammatory response in the body. It's important for um, helping to maintain the synovial fluids or in our muscles and our tissues. You know, So all of those things are supported by omega-3s. And here's how you can know when you're deficient in omega-3s. If you're craving fatty foods regularly, like french fries or chips or just anything that's fatty, you're probably deficient in omegas. Now, those things are actually not gonna provide for you omegas because those are high in omega-6s and not high in omega-3s, which is what you need. But that's probably one of the symptoms is that you are craving fatty foods. Um, as a woman, you could be getting very bad menstrual cramps. That could be another indicator that you are deficient in omega-3s. Um, and then finally, dry skin, just what we started talking about. That's a, um, kind of a big warning sign that you are deficient in omega-3s. No matter how much water that you drink, if you don't have sufficient omega-3s, you are always going to struggle with dry skin. And um, of course, Whenever you're taking these omega-3s, then you're kind of reducing the impact of breakouts and it helps to clarify your skin. So omega-3s are hugely important in the development of healthy skin. But notice the two products beside the omega-3s. We see GX Assist and PB Assist. These two have fast become my favorite tools in all of doTERRA products because I know so many people who struggle with skin issues. What are they? Well, GX Assist is, you can think of it, it's, it's labeled here as the GI cleansing formula. I look at it as the thing that kills the bad. 
Okay, so PB assist puts in the good and the GX assist kills the bad. What's it killing? Well, it's killing those things, those unhelpful bacteria. It's killing candida and parasites. It's killing the things in your gut that are stopping your gut from actually having the healthy flora and the healthy functioning that it needs to have. If you don't have um, a healthy, clean gut, that's gonna show up in your skin. And um, my daughter's story is that she had such a bad candida rash on her chest that for an entire summer, we're talking months, she couldn't walk around. She, I mean, she couldn't wear a shirt and had to walk around kind of topless as much as she could in her own room. And then when she was out, she would just wear a very loose fitting shirt because it was so um, uncomfortable for her. She had pus oozing down her chest and that's, you know, and she, she would say that it smelled like rotting flesh. Okay. So we're talking not a pleasant sight. And this is in the context of someone who has really cleaned up her diet, like really just now eating vegetables and organic chicken and some white fish and, you know, quinoa and rice, but very, very clean diet. Um, and still experiencing the, this, you know, terrible rash. And I kept telling her, you know, you have to take GX assist to kill that candida off. Um, because your body just can't cope right now. And um, she couldn't swallow them. Finally, she got around to the point where she could swallow the GX assist. And do you know that within 10 days, her skin completely cleared up and she was back to having healthy skin um, and still to this day has no trouble at all with the skin in that area. And, um, and so that's a big, big deal. So GX assist is a combination of caprylic acid, oregano, thyme, and lemon oil. And it's going to help you just to keep your gut really clean. You would use that for 10 days and then you would take a break. What you would follow it up with though is the PB assist. Now probiotics are super important. If you're not taking GX assist, basically every other day of the year, you should be taking the probiotic. Probiotics are necessary in the support of your digestive process. And the problem is that when we're getting a candida overgrowth and when we're taking things like antibiotics and so on, um, and other foods that we eat, it's actually killing the healthy bacteria in our gut. We need to have a constant supply of healthy bacteria to colonize in our gut to keep our gut healthy. Okay, that uh, people who struggle with skin issues inevitably are lacking in probiotics, but not just any probiotic will do. If you're eating probiotic yogurt, remember that you're feeding your body with sugar and dairy, and that might be the very thing that your skin doesn't like. So having a probiotic supplement is important, and Do doTERRA's is the best I've ever seen. It has a double encapsulated uh, capsule so that the probiotics actually get to the gut and don't get killed off by your stomach acids. This is an essential thing to have every single day. Bad bacteria won't take over. Your immune system will be supported. Your digestive tract, which is linked to your skin, will then be healthier. Okay, so these are three important beauty tools. But the other part of the natural solution involves using both essential oils and the amazing skincare line that doTERRA has. So I wanna to talk to you about both. Okay, first of all, essential oils. We hopefully have, you've taken other seminars that you know what essential oils are. You know that they're plant-based medicine. You know how concentrated they are, how they've been used for centuries. And they do have similar properties to conventional treatments, but they don't have the side effects. You know, when I was getting the, you know, taking the oral, um, antibiotics for the issue that I was experiencing on my face, I was getting side effects. I could be using essential oils to do um, pretty impressive things in the body, but I wouldn't be getting side effects because essential oils are safe, they're effective, and they're also super cost effective. They're very inexpensive. Let me show you some examples of the power of CPTG oils. Now remember, I am talking about doTERRA's oils. Other oils just do not match up. They just can't cut it. So what you're seeing on the left is a mole in the top left that was on the face of somebody I know. So this is actually a person I know. On the bottom left, you can see it as well. And it was kind of growing over time and you know, not 
nefarious per se, but annoying every time that this person would get their hair cut, it was in the way and it was just becoming kind of annoying and kind of, you know, unsightly. And so he started applying frankincense regularly, morning and night, um, pot potentially even three times a day, he was putting the frankincense on. And you can see the progression, what happened on the right hand side, I've got less, I got less until like you couldn't see it anymore. And this is something that had been there for years. So this is impressive. It was a very short period of time before the, that um, completely went away just by using frankincense oil. Okay, so frankincense is a powerful, powerful oil and one of the oils that you do not want to be without, not only if you're dealing with skin issues, but a whole host of other things. Okay, frankincense is powerful. Here's another example. Um, you see on the left, the mark that was on the, on the hand. And what they did is they applied clove oil in this case. And that um, went away very, very, very quickly with the use of a few applications of clove oil. So clove oil is pretty hot, um, but you can see that it got rid of that. Now the same issue could be dealt with using oregano oil. The same family talked about um, something very similar on the foot that they dealt with using oregano oil. So whether you're using clove or oregano oil, you can get pretty powerful results, very, very cost effective, very inexpensive and very fast. So let's take a look at some of doTERRA's products because that's really um, where my heart is at when it comes to skin care after we've dealt with skin issues. Um, I love doTERRA's products. I have been a skincare snob, so to speak, for many years because of all the skincare issues that I've had. And I've spent a lot of money in the past on skincare. And so when I heard about doTERRA's products and saw the prices, I was highly skeptical that they could be any good, given that doTERRA wasn't a skincare specialist company. And given that the prices were so inexpensive, I really doubted their effectiveness. Well, I no longer doubt. In fact, I've never used anything more effective in my entire life than what I have with doTERRA's products. And the really amazing thing about doTERRA's skincare line is that not only are they cost effective and really, really fast, but we know that they're infused with essential oils. So we're getting all those benefits of the essential oils every single time that we're using the oils. And guess what that means? We're not just getting benefits to our skin, we're getting benefits to our emotions, we're getting benefits throughout our body by using the essential oils in the skincare. So the first thing to know about the Virage skincare, which I'm about to talk to you about, is that it's 100% plant-based ingredients. This is phenomenal. It's highly difficult. Now in the skincare world, you're gonna see that there are products that focus on the best of science, you know? So they'll have like, um, you know, very white looking packaging. So it looks very medical and you see the names of doctors who've been involved in developing it and so on. The problem is that when you look at the ingredient list, it's often lots of um, ingredients that are on the, you know, stay away from with a, um, with a long shot, stay away from ingredients. And they're there in the science-based products because they're not really looking at what is kind of best for your health, so to speak. They're really looking at what works in terms of what's gonna produce an immediate result. But on the other side, there's these natural products. And the problem with those is that even though they're uh, very safe and even though they're coming, coming from nature, they're often not very effective. And if they are effective, and even if they're not, sometimes the preservative system cannot be stable. And so they go bad really fast. And so one of the beauties of doTERRA's Virage skincare system is that you get all the best um, of both worlds, so to speak, but it's completely 100% uh, plant-based. So the benefits from the science world in ours are that they work and that they work effectively and they work quickly and we don't have to worry about the stability of the ingredients and yet you're not compromising on the natural. Okay, so the first element is the Virage Cleanser. Now the cleanser is a beautiful blend of essential oils including wild orange, melaleuca, and basil, so it smells amazing. This cleans your skin and it invigorates, so you can literally feel 
fantastic while you're using this to clean your skin. And while you're cleaning your skin, you're not stripping it, you're hydrating and nourishing it. So this is beautiful. It helps to reduce that transepidural water loss, okay? Then there's the toner. That would be the second step. I love the spray toner. Um, you just uncap it and you can spray it on your face or you could spray it onto a pad and apply it that way. It's really important to use toner because one of the things that people forget to do or forget is that after they've cleansed their skin, they um, are kind of upsetting or off, you know, putting off of balance the pH balance that is in your skin. And so when you're using a toner, you're restoring that very important pH balance. It's also like a second cleanser. So it's not that the first cleanser is ineffective, it's just that sometimes we're not as diligent to get everything off as we should be, and we're not using necessarily the sponge to actually clean our face. If you're like me, you kind of throw it on and then just wipe it with your hands. So we're not really getting the full cleansing benefits from the cleanser. And so when we're putting the toner on, especially if we're using it with a cotton pad, we're kind of getting that second clean. And so that's really nice. And then finally, it tightens the skin. So this is really key. It's gonna tighten your skin and make it feel, um, you know, not tight uncomfortably, but tightened as in much better, more youthful. Look at the essential oils that are in this blend. We've got ylang-ylang and palmarosa, coriander, and cypress. But in addition to these fantastic CPTG oils, we've got witch hazel and aloe. So this creates such an incredible blend for beca becoming our toner. Okay, the other ingredient is the malachite copper minerals. Now that's really powerful for the skin because that's your antioxidants and that's what's gonna promote the skin elasticity. So you can use this, we should be cleansing morning and evening, ideally. And then we were using this right after we cleanse, but you don't have to only use it at the time when you cleanse. If your face just needs a pick me up during the day, you just need that kind of freshening and you don't have the luxury of carrying around the entire skincare set with you, or just pop the toner in your purse and spray your face throughout the day. It feels fantastic. It's gonna give you that boost and you're gonna feel that the stickiness and the yuckiness of the day kind of melting away just by spraying your face with the toner. This product is amazing. So for those of you who have used the Immortel oil that doTERRA creates, this has been such a huge boost because what they've done is they've created a serum that marries that beautiful blend Immortel um, with a uh, the perfect carrier to get it into your skin in the, in the best way possible. It helps to provide that optimal lip, lipid balance so that your skin is smoother, it's more youthful looking, and it's no doubt because look at the essential oils that are in this blend. We've got frankincense, Hawaiian sandalwood, lavender, myrrh, hilichrysum, and rose, the most expensive oil in the world, and it's in this blend, okay? So these are very expensive, but also super effective essential oils to be using on your skin. One of the elements that I love about this is doTERRA's patented L22 anti-aging technology. So let me help you to understand what that is and why it's so important. So this is a patented um, ingredient, L22, and the why it's important in the serum is because as we age, we kind of lose hydration. We lose the ability for our skin to keep uh, perfectly hydrated. Um, when we don't have prop, proper hydration, well, your skin starts to break down. It can't communicate. Um, the cells can't communicate with each other. You start getting fine lines and wrinkles. We get that rough texture happening. And then if your skin tends to be oily, it actually becomes more oily when it's not hydrated because your skin tries to overcompensate for the lack of hydration by producing more oil, which then produces more breakouts. So hydration is super important. In fact, over 80% of therapies that are done in spas are actually to help to support the body to create more hydration in the skin. So this serum kind of um, maps what would have been the optimal ratio of oils in a 22 year old, and it helps your, your body to get to that balance. And so you're getting optimal hydration and optimum 
um, ratio in our skin. So it also has uh, olive oil, jojoba oil, and macadamia oil. So those oils are working so well together to create this beautiful, um, youthful appearance to your skin. And then finally, our Barrage Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer because you never feel like your skin is heavy. The smell is amazing because of jasmine, geranium, sea buckthorn berry, and juniper, but the feel of it is amazing. It's fantastic. I feel so, your skin feels so light and alive. It doesn't feel like weighed down. You don't get that uncomfortable over shininess. You just get the perfect sense that your skin is well hydrated. It absorbs super quickly. And so men actually love this skincare system for that reason. Men are not really keen on going around with a big, shiny, gl gl glossy face, but they love that this absorbs quickly. And it's so effective for men as well as women. Um, it has moisturizers um, in it that include shea butter, and so it does uh, absorb very quickly. It's not greasy, and you're going to find that by using this, you know, morning and evening, there's huge changes to the appearance of your skin. So that's the Barrage skincare system, and I want to talk to you about another favorite, which is the Reveal system. So the Reveal system is, and the idea of it is to give you your face that spa-like treatment, okay? So you wanna bring out your glow, you wanna bring out just the, you know, the, the beauty of your skin. And one of the things that we know is that exfoliating is super important. One of the things that I love about this system as well is how fast acting it is. You know, there are the times when we have to wait for the results to kick in because, you know, some of the skin issues that we have took years and years and years to develop, so they're not going to go away overnight. But virtually everybody who uses this will experience an immediate result. They feel like their skin is baby soft. They love the way that their skin feels and looks after using it. And so we do get that fast acting instant results. But why is exfoliation important? In fact, if you can only do one thing for your skin topically, probably the import, most important thing to do would be to exfoliate. If you can think about exfoliation like working out, you know that what happens when you work out is that you start to you know, lift those weights and what's happening when you're lifting those weights is you're actually creating micro tears in the muscle, right? And those micro tears on the day of rest will repair and produce more muscle so that you get more muscular and therefore better looking kind of in terms of your shape. Well, the same thing is happening with your skin when you're using an exfoliation. So your part, the particles, the little micro particles inside of the step one are actually breaking down the skin. It's kind of fortifying the skin because it's waking it up. It's telling it to, to work out and then to build new skin. And you're getting rid of that old skin, building new skin, and that's, that's super important for maintaining long-term healthy skin. But what also happens is that we then add step two. So step two is when we're going to be introducing the peptides. And we put step two right on top of step one so we don't uh, wash off in between. But with step two, the peptides are introduced. And peptides are communicators. Now for most skincare products, what you'll find is that the natural ingredients or the artificial ingredients, whatever it is, will go to the cells and they'll say, hey, I would like you to produce more collagen, more, elast more elastin, I would like you to become more firm or whatever. It's creating some instruction that it's giving to the cell. But it's kind of more like a suggestion, you know, like it would be really great if. With a peptide, the difference is that it communicates with the cell until it does what it wants the cell to do. So it keeps communicating. So it's like, go, 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 go. Almost like a two-year-old asking for a cookie. <laughs> you know, That two-year-old will not let up until you give it a cookie or give him or her a cookie. So it's kind of the same with peptides. You know, they, they continue to communicate until the cell does what it wants it to do. And so some peptides, will tell your skin to do certain things and some peptides will tell your skin to stop doing certain things depending on the effect that it's going for. But this system is amazing together and the um, effects of it is that we get those 
this youthful, healthy skin. And of course, we have lime and wild orange essential oils just to make sure that our skin's got that beautiful cleansing um, aspect to it. And I would say use this maximum twice a week. So you do need to leave time for your skin to regenerate and to, to kind of repair, okay? So here's how you would use the, um, the Virage skincare. We mentioned that the Virage is for a daily use. And so every single day, twice a day, you would use the Virage cleanser, follow up with the toner, add the serum, and then the moisturizer. This is a super simple system. There are some skincare lines that literally have over 300 um, parts to their product line. This skin, this is for all skin types, so you don't have to try to figure out, you know, what am I going to use? Although if you did notice, I mentioned, I didn't mention it, but I kind of um, put a picture of HD Clear, which is in the lower right-hand corner. And that is a skincare system that you could use, for example, if you had more acne prone skin, more prone to breakouts. But really this skincare line is for everybody. So there's no complication needed in trying to figure out which products do I use for my skin type. This will work for everybody. That makes it really simple to follow. And even though four steps may seem like a lot if you're not used to a skincare system, this is not a lot. I'll tell you the other thing that's not a lot, and that's the price. The entire skincare system is $107 Canadian. That is incredible. I have spent $120 just for an eye cream, one little tiny vial of eye cream for $120, and that's not uncommon. In the skincare industry, especially some of the more expensive brands, you pay a lot of money for good skincare. But as I said, I've never used skincare that I love more than doTERRA's, and that, at that price point, everybody can afford it. Now this could be a monthly purchase depending on, on how regularly you use it. It could also last you two months. So it really depends on how frequently you're using it. But either way, that is so cost effective. The Reveal Facial System is $64 US, but because you're only using it maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, you really only need to buy this every three or four months. So again, this is like $20 a month at the most. Um, so it's very, very cost effective as well. Not expensive when we're talking about skincare. But here's another one. Look at the price of this. It's $15 US for this incredible mud mask. Now this is a new addition that doTERRA added to their product line. And I'm so thankful that they did because a mud mask is something that a lot of people love to use. And with our essential oils and with the natural beauty of the mud that they're using in this mask, it is so easy to create a fantastic combination. So mud mask is not something that you want to use every day. I would say, you know, every couple of days, but potentially just once a week. When you're using this um, mud mask, what's happening is you're improving and soothing, the, improving the appearance of your skin and your complexion, and you're soothing it as well. You're leaving your skin with a healthy glow. And you can use lots of essential oils for skincare, but when you're putting them together in the mud mask, you're really harnessing the power of the oils to pamper your skin. And then of course, in the process, you're reducing the appearance of wrinkles and pores and fine lines, and it just takes 10 minutes. So that's 10 minutes maximum that you would keep this mask on. The essential oils that are used in our detoxifying mud mask are known for their cleansing and purifying properties. And that would be like myrrh, juniper berry, grapefruit. So all of those are powerful detoxifying essential oils and um, they're really great for their cleansing. And when you're putting the mud mask on your skin, not only is it helping to clean the skin, but it's also working to moisturize and balance it by using the essential oils and other ingredients like shea butter, which is also in the mask. Now the shea butter will help to moisturize the complexion um, while the earth clay, like the natural earth clay, clay that's in it, can actually reduce the appearance of oily skin. So if you're struggling with any kind of oily looking skin, especially in certain areas, and this is a great thing to use. But do remember that when we're talking about using a mud mask, I would start off by just testing what your skin does in, in reaction to this particular product because mud masks are a little funky that way. Um, most people, when they put on a mud mask, they wanna put it on until it completely dries out. But there's really three stages of a mud mask's effectiveness, so to speak.
in the first stage when you first put it on and it's wet, your skin is really just drinking in the beneficial minerals and properties of the mud mask. Uh, but the second stage, when it starts to dry out, your skin is exercising the capillaries and it's stimulating the blood flow. So that's also a good thing. But this, the third stage is when, this, when the mud mask is completely dry and that's when it's actually drawing moisture out of your skin and it can start to cause irritation. So what I would recommend is that you start using this product for a couple of minutes and then kind of work up, but at all times, make sure you're taking it off before it's completely dry. That's where you're gonna minimize any kind of sensitivity and maximize the benefits that the mud mask is gonna do for your skin, okay? So overall, I want you to know that no matter what you are dealing with, there is hope, okay? I, I've dealt with, my daughters have dealt with very serious, um, difficulties with our skin and yet today I have perfectly healthy vibrant glowing skin and I know that you can too so there is hope bye for now